going to be making some air fryer green beans and these are going to be really delicious. They're kind of a copycat version of uh, TGI Fridays. So uh, I have some freshly picked beans out of my garden and let me show you what I do first. So I want to keep the green beans long. We're going to be making the long green beans that we're going to have a dip for. And all I'm going to do is just pinch off the top of the bean that comes from the plant. The other I'm just going to leave just like it is. So I'm going to do this to all these green beans. And they've all been cleaned and washed. So we're going to start off with a half a cup of flour two eggs, and then I've got some panko breadcrumbs that I'm going to be seasoning. So all I'm gonna do is add some ground paprika, about a half a teaspoon. And then I'm also gonna be adding some seasoned salt, just like this. You put in as much of this as you want. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'm going to put in a little bit of onion powder, about a half a teaspoon of that. And I'm going to put in a little bit of garlic. And that's garlic powder. <clears throat> if you prefer to use garlic salt and leave your salt out, that's good too. We're gonna give all that a little stir. And then we're gonna go ahead and just lightly beat our eggs, just so that we can dip our beans in them. So I've got a small air fryer. I'm just making a small portion of these today, but if you have a larger air fryer, you can do that as well. You'll be surprised how many you get in here. So all we're gonna do is I'm gonna move these over so it's nice and convenient. You can see what I'm doing. So all I'm gonna do is take my beans and I want to kind of roll these in the flour. Now your hands are gonna get a little dirty, don't worry about it. It's gonna be fast and painless. <laughs> Put them in the egg mixture and then you're gonna roll them in the breadcrumbs. Just make sure you get lots of breadcrumbs all over your beans. And then you're just gonna take them and put them right in the air fryer. Flour. Egg. I'm gonna switch hands so that I have a nice dry hand to do the, the breadcrumbs. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a few of these together. And you're gonna be amazed how these come out. They are so good and so delicious. <laughs> you saw the air, the air fryer zucchini that I did the other day. Oh my gosh. Well, these are very similar to, oops, forgot I was gonna use the other hand. Uh, these are very similar to those only you're getting these wonderful green beans. All right, I'll see you in a few minutes after I get this pan all filled up. All right, you want your air fryer beans to be uh, kind of a single layer, not really touching too much. We're gonna put them in the air fryer at 400 for five minutes, and then we're gonna turn them over and see how long we need, I think probably another five minutes. I realized that I forgot to add some Parmesan cheese, so I'm gonna put in about a fourth of a cup of Parmesan, and I'm gonna do a whole nother batch. Just mix that up with the panko breadcrumbs, just like so. There you go. And just keep going.
and you can see this process goes really fast. This is a great thing to make like for an appetizer when you're going to any kind of a Christmas or Thanksgiving instead of just the typical green bean casserole why don't you surprise them with some delicious green beans that have been air fried there's going to be a a very nice texture to them they're going to be so good sounds like my other green beans are done so i'm going to go check them and give them a quick turn So these are my delicious air fryer green beans, fresh out of the garden. I'm just gonna give one of them a little taste for you. Oh, those look good. <laughs> I just use a little bit of ranch dressing. Mmm, mmm, those are so good, mmm. Oh, wow. Maybe a couple. <laughs> mm. They're kind of crunchy. And then you got that delicious coating. Very good. That's probably one of my favorite ways to eat green beans, <laughs> honestly. And it's one of the things I look forward to the most when I am gardening is fresh vegetables, not vegetables that are picked you know, in the unripe stage so they can last the week or so that they're at the grocery store, that you can go pick them fresh that morning, come in, wash them, take care of them, prepare them, and you've got a taste like no other. So if you're new to gardening, if you've got any room at all and you can set up a little garden in your backyard or even a little pots on a patio you'd be amazed how much food you can grow in pots and in raised beds so i hope that this was you know fun for you i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did <laughs> and i'm actually going to make some extra ones so i could take them to my son and daughter-in-law see if they can enjoy them today so thank you for joining me today if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a like, a thumbs up, or ring the bell for future notifications, and I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.